the show 2024 Republican presidential candidate he's North Dakota governor he is Doug Burgum Doug uh, governor thank you so much for joining us tonight it's great to have you on uh, you we've been watching you you're talking a lot about individual liberties and freedoms so what was your reaction governor when you heard New Mexico New Mexico governor Michelle Grisham's temporary ban on carrying handguns in cities like Albuquerque what did you think well I immediately thought this is absurd because it, it's impossible for any citizen but a sitting governor to think that through an executive order they can wipe out the constitutional rights. In North Dakota, we're exactly the opposite. In my time as governor, we've passed over a dozen bills that actually enshrine and support uh, and defend the Second Amendment in North Dakota. And as your president, that's exactly what I'll do. But I, I don't think that her action will stand up in court, and I think this will be a fleeting moment. Yeah, it's like invoking an emergency and then suspending constitutional rights. That's the issue. Governor, let's get your reaction to what the governor of New Mexico is saying here. Listen to this. Do you really think that criminals are going to hear this message and not carry a gun in Albuquerque on the streets for 30 days? Uh, no, it's not for police to tell me what's constitutional or not. They haven't supported one, not one, gun violence effort in the state of New Mexico, so governor, including domestic violence protections, universal background checks. Okay, so she says criminals are going to carry guns anyway, and she's saying the police can't lecture her on, consti on the Constitution. I mean, the U.S. and her own state's Constitution says she can't do this. No, this is clearly a constitutional right of every American. Uh, I think the whole thing is absurd. And like I say, I think this will be a fleeting moment. Uh, and, and I think, again, uh, uh, when, I, when I think I know what you got coming up on this program, but what's on my mind is this incredible deal that yesterday on 9-11 that Biden uh, would authorize $6 billion for a hostage deal, which isn't really a hostage deal. He's circumventing the law. He's circumventing a law passed in 2015, which says Congress has to approve the release of, of funds uh, to sponsors of terrorism. And he's basically given $6 billion more on top of the $10 billion they released earlier this summer. And he's, he's completely circumventing the law, circumventing Congress. And we're sending money to the greatest state sponsor of terrorism in the world. And that, that happened yesterday on 9-11. You know, Governor, it's interesting what you point out because circumventing Congress on the student loan bailout, circumventing Congress just flouting the 2017 law allowing oil and gas leases in Anwar. So it it's always seems feels like an end run. And, and, you know, it's unsettling for Americans. They don't feel safe that, you know, it just feels like this feeling of, you hate to say it, lawlessness out of this Biden White House. Well, clearly, and it's reflected in some of our large cities, and it's reflected down at the border where, uh, again, uh, when I'm your president, one of the things I'll be doing is actually doing the work that the Constitution requires the president to do, which is a limited number of powers enumerated. The Tenth Amendment says these are delegated to the federal government. Delegated by who? By the states. The power should return to the states, return to the, to the citizens, because it's to the states or to the people. But the border... Uh, we've had the equivalent of Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Rhode Island, Joe Biden's home state of Delaware, throw in Montana. That's the six and a half million people that have entered our country since he took office. A and then you throw on top of that that we've got, you know, a 200, we've, we've passed the five Vietnam level. We've lost mass casualties, 107,000 overdose deaths his first year, 110,000 his second year. We're halfway through this third year. We've passed five Vietnam's worth of deaths due to overdoses in our country because of the open border. And these are the, this is actually the job of the president. He hasn't been down there in two, the first two years. He's been down there once. Uh, I've been down there more than he's been down there, and I'll be down there in the first two weeks when I'm your president. Got it. Governor Bergham, thanks for joining us tonight. It's good to have you on, sir.